Assalamu alaikum. Welcome again. I'm going to talk about Muzmatch app. This is the part two to the first video I did because I didn't get to squeeze everything in. I didn't want to make it too long. And there was one feature that I forgot to mention, and that was the ability to make phone calls. So you can actually call someone as a free member, do a video call, voice call, as well as leave a voice message, right? The only thing is the other person has to accept your request first. Okay, once they accept your request, then you can, you know, do all these things. Now, this is a, a good and bad. So it really depends on if you liked uh, th this type of um, communication with someone or you rather just like, you know, chat by sending messages. And speaking of chatting, one thing I also noticed is that if you send a message to someone, you cannot delete that message if you decide, okay, you know what, I, I made a mistake or I don't like what I wrote. I want to just erase it and do it again. Um, you cannot do that. So you cannot delete it and you cannot delete the actual conversation that you have with that person. There's only one way to pay and that is through PayPal. So I don't know if that's a good thing because I don't always use PayPal and there are some people who may not even know what PayPal is, right? So I think they should have more options and how to pay if you want to, you know, join, but apparently it works for a lot of people because a lot of people is on it and they pay by PayPal, right? But I, I didn't like that idea of just having to pay by PayPal. I should think that they would have more options for you to pay and, and that wasn't available for you. So another issue I noticed is when you have to send um, a request to the support staff. So the issue that I had was that I wanted to delete a message that I sent to someone. So I contacted the help desk, I sent a message to them. And when I was sending the message, I noticed that they said, put as much information as you can, as much details as you can. And cause they need to know, you know, exactly what the issue is, but the text box they give you has limited characters. So you can't put as much details as you want because it's limited. <laughs> So I had to erase half of the message that I wrote to make it short to fit in that text box. Okay. So I didn't like that. And when I sent it, they told, I got the automatic message saying that, um, it'll take about 48 hours to, to hear from someone. It's been now almost a week and I'm still waiting to hear from someone. It's like, they don't have live people, uh, as support staff, uh, messaging you. So if you have an issue, uh, if you have an issue with someone, if you have an issue with the actual app you don't get a live person uh, writing you back. And a lot of the messages that come to you are just those um, robotic messages, right? You know, when you join an app or a service, you need to have the ability to, um, you know, get in contact with someone if you have an issue, right? And they don't have that, which brings me to another um, feature that they lack. And that is the feature of reporting someone. If there's, if there's someone there that you don't, you think is um, a fraud or, or they're harassing you or whatever it may be, other than having the ability to block them, you should be able to, you know, report them. And with this, with this slow customer service that they have or lack of, <laughs> I don't even think they'll even address that matter because it just seems to be, um, a non-issue for them. Like it doesn't matter. So I just noticed that when I went into the app to give you all the features that they have as a paid member, I noticed that they have a notification on the screen, letting you know that the app needs updating. So in my first video, I talked about how the app disappeared. So when it needed to be updated, it just got removed from your phone and you had to go into the app store. And now this time they made a change and now you can actually see the, the notification. Either way, it's terrible. I mean, I don't want to have to go and always update it because they're always making some minor changes to it. And we always have to go to the app store, which very inconvenient anyways. Okay, so now I'm going to let you know about the features that you get as a paid member. So as a paid member, you have the ability to send unlimited uh, messages and you do not need to get the approval of the other person or you do not need to be matched with that person to send a message. So you can send a message to anyone. You have unlimited swipes. You have the ability to um, unswipe someone. So if you went left and you didn't like someone and you wanted to just change your mind about that you can do that um if you didn't get matched with someone if you didn't like each other both of you you can they have something called rematch so you, i guess you try to match the, with them again send them another interest like letting them know that you want another chance basically um you also have the ability to unblock someone and um you have this feature i don't know what it's called but um it's like they boost your profile i guess they help you boost your profile to make it 
you know, be on the top of the list, I guess, for the search results. You can pretty much filter by everything. So by height, by age, by um, sect, by race, whatever it may be, if you have a by profession, um, there's a lot of filters that you can do. And um, that's pretty much it. So there really isn't much difference between the uh, paid member and the free member. But to me, the features are still not um, good enough to say that we're, they're going to be charging you this much dollars uh, to join the app or to say that it's a good app to find someone to get married. I honestly don't feel that it's an app for that. It's more of an app for finding friends and they should probably change the name. <laughs> okay, so this this app is not for that. Okay, it's not for someone looking to, to get married. Um, however, you can um, read the um, description below. I'm going to add all this in the bottom so you'll know what you get and you can evaluate yourself, right? Always take a look at the reviews um, that you hear about the apps and websites before you join it. And if you do want to join it, check it out and um, you'll see for yourself what it's about. And I hope this video was um, helpful to you if you're thinking about using it. And um, that's about it. So I tried to make it as short as I can. This is all the stuff that I found on it. I don't think it's worth it again, like I said in my first video. But all the best to you. Take care. Assalamualaikum.